Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got a so refreshing card for you today. Um, this card is a lot of fun. It features my one of my favorite bundles from the new 2023-2024 Stampin' Up! Annual Catalog. So refreshing. Um, we are not going to actually use the lemonade glass or uh, pitcher stamp, but I've got another project on the same blog post uh, if you're looking for ideas with those. So make sure you click the link here on YouTube. I'm also using a new background stamp called Sketched Plaid. And for the sentiment, I pulled out another new uh, bundle called Wonderful Thoughts. This is a great dice or uh, stamp set that has matching dies, um, which cut out the words, which I always really like. All right, the first thing that we are gonna do is a little watercolor wash. I've got a watercolor paper stylish shape circle. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of Coastal Cabana um, to create just kind of a background there. Just a little bit, I'm gonna get it nice and watery and I'm gonna just add a little bit of color to the background like that. Okay, and I'm gonna let that dry, if I can get it picked up so you can see it, just a tiny bit of color. Okay, now we're gonna do some stamping. Uh, we're gonna stamp two sets of those flowers. And I have my Stamparatus set up. This is two-step stamping, and I just have found that with these flowers, I do a whole lot better if I am using the uh, Stamparatus. So I've got my plates already set up to go, and I'm gonna stamp the inside image first. Um, so the solid stamp first. I'm gonna use bubble bath, and I'm actually gonna stamp off first. So we have a lighter pink color. So stamp off on some scratch paper, pick it up and stamp again. All right, very light. Now take your outline image, and this time we're gonna stamp it in full strength. All right, like that. And then I'm gonna turn it, and hope that I gave myself enough room there, I did, for the stems. Granny Apple Green, and we'll stamp those. All right, so there's our beautiful flowers. Let's turn it around and do it again. Since our, our Stamparatus is already set up, I'm gonna go backwards. I'm gonna do the stems first, then the outline. I found that if I'm not using my Stamparatus especially, it's the easiest for me to do that inside image, this one right here, to do it first. All right, we'll stamp off because we don't want it to be too dark. And then, oh no, I hope I didn't move my paper. Let's see, I think I got it. There we go, beautiful. All right. Now, while we have our Stamparatus here, actually, let's stamp our background stamp. I've got it set up on another plate and we will get our bubble bath paper and we're gonna stamp that right in the middle. We're gonna cut it down. So let's just set that right up there. And lots of bubble bath ink. I wanna call it bubble gum. It's a bubble bath. All right, now we'll trim that down in a second. Let's get that out of the way. And the other thing that we are gonna cut or stamp are our lemons and our sentiment. We're gonna stamp our sentiment, I mean our lemons in Lemon Lolly and Daffodil Delight. I'm gonna stamp the inside image first in Lemon Lolly and then get my Daffodil Delight and stamp those. Let's see if I can do this without putting my head in the camera, that outline image right there. All right, and then last but not least, our thinking of you, and actually, yep, I'm gonna do that in Granny Apple Green. And we'll do that right here, thinking of you. Okay, let's bring over our cut and emboss machine. We've got a lot of things to cut out here. 
I'm actually also bringing in this die right here. This little bowl is from our um, ice cream set. I can't remember this. Uh, share a milkshake. That's what it is. Share a milkshake set. So I will have that linked on my blog for you so you can see it. Let's see. I believe it's this one right here. There we go. And we're going to cut this. I've also got a piece of our eclectic designer series paper. We're going to cut out the tablecloth. Um, I am going to cut out, I've got sweet sorbet. We're going to cut out our tiny little strawberries. And from um, Garden Green, we're going to cut out some leaves and the little, the little strawberry stems. We need our lemon dye and our flower dye. Oh, and last but not least, we need to cut out a pitcher from our bubble bath cardstock. Do I have enough room? I think I do. Because we're going to cut a little bit of this off. So let me just go around it like that. We'll cut that down in a second. I know that was kind of cringy, wasn't it? Don't worry. We'll be all right. Okay, we've got a lot of things to cut. So let's bring over the cut and emboss machine and I'm going to kind of do this in shifts. Um, the first thing I want to show you is the wonderful thoughts dies. I am not real good at getting them centered very well. Um, the die outline is very thick so it's hard to see exactly where you're cutting. You think it's right and then it's wrong. So what I have found is I like to cut a little template. And the template of the die, I've just cut it from scrap paper, really will give you a window showing you exactly where your die needs to go. And do you think we could squeeze this in at the same time? I think so. I've got another piece of post-it tape here. And how about our lemons? Let's get our lemons. I'm taping these down so that they don't slip. When I've got this many things going on at once, you run the risk of things bumping as they go through the machine. So those that need to line up, we're gonna tape down. Okay, now these down here are small, so as you pull your plate up when you are done cutting, you need to make sure that you grab those and they don't get lost. All right, so carefully, Run that through, and let's look at all of them. Oh, look at that, beautiful. I love when they just come right out. Um, one thing I have found with these tiny little guys is if you get your, um, take your pick tool like this, this really helps to keep them and pick them up and put them where they need to go. We'll use that again in a little while. All right, we only need one of these leaves, so pull that out. These dies are super small, you guys. Put them back as soon as you use them onto your plates or in your envelope, wherever you keep them. All right, there's our, our little lemon set. And we need to cut out one more flower. Here's our first flower. And we'll just... Let's cut this down so we can get everything to fit. When you have a cut and emboss machine, you'll find, you'll find all kinds of tricks that work for you. Um, I just have found, especially lately, this tape is really, really helpful. All right, now we've got a few other things. Hopefully we can fit this on here. I do believe we can. That is that bubble bath. And then we've got our cute little picnic basket. All right, one more run through. And I think we can move that out of the way. All right, now this um, tablecloth, this paper that I've used, you could actually use either side. It's got bubble bath on either side bubble bath the color okay let's move everything out of the way and we're going to start assembling 
Actually, I used the wrong die for that. All right, hold on guys, I'm gonna fix it. Ready? And I fixed it. Okay, let me tell you what I did. This die set has two pictures. This one right here is what I used originally. This is actually, and you can use it, it totally will work. But if I can get stamps set, I'll show you. This one, this fatter one is designed to cut out the image. What I wanted was this other one right here, the more skinny picture, because if you'll see, it actually gives you a place to slide your flowers in. So get your flowers and arrange them in your vase or your pitcher like that. I have a collection of pitchers that I love, um, that I use for decoration, but also for flowers. I prefer to put, when I get flowers, to put them in a beautiful pitcher like this. So I really like this. Okay, see how I adhered those? Put the dimensionals on top so that we can just stick that down in a second. Okay, now for the itty bitties. Let's bring them over. We've got some itty bitty strawberries. They are tiny, but if you have your take your pick tool, you won't have any problems. Put a itty bitty teeny tiny dot of glue there. All right, and then this, you might need to get your scissors for this also. Set it down, and if, if it doesn't come down, which that one did perfectly. Sometimes it sticks to, right like that, sticks to your, take your pick tool. So you wanna have your scissors to, to uh, assist. There you go. I mean, how cute are those? They're adorable. All right, now here, what I'm gonna do is take some, let's see, I think, mm, I think we'll use tear and tape. I'm just gonna take a little bit of tear and tape and put it on the back of this basic white bowl. And I'm gonna very carefully pick up these strawberries one at a time because I want them sitting in the bowl. Okay, and let's turn that one. They may not be close enough. Let's try again, let's get them close. Okay, see how they're gonna stick? to the back of the bowl. Turn, you guys, come on, turn around, turn, turn. Oh goodness, not all the way over. Let's see, there we go, like that, how cute. All right, so let's turn that over. Bring back your, your little uh, watercolor wash circle. And we're gonna put our tablecloth across here, like that. Now get your pitcher, that's gonna be in the center. And then get your bowl. And let's see, do we have enough room for dimensional? We do. We'll put the dimensional on the back. Let's make sure those guys are really pressed down into that adhesive. And we're gonna put that right here. Doesn't this look like a, a table you wanna to go to? I think this would be a great Mother's Day table. Husbands, children, take note. Ha ha, right? <laughs> I'm gonna stick those lemons back there. Now we, remember, we cut out one leaf and we'll put the leaf, the leaves right there behind. Oh, I don't want my glue to show. So let's see if we can tuck that in. There we go. Well, all right, good enough. All right, last but not least, we're gonna just take the sentiment and put it right there. And I think for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna take a glue dot. Maybe we'll do two glue dots and we'll put that right there. All right, the hard part is over. Now let's go back to our, our stamped plaid that I kind of mutilated a little bit, but don't worry, I'll fix it. We want it to be four by five and a fourth, so it's a little bit bigger than that. That's why I knew it would be okay to cut just part of that off. So over here, I'm gonna take this five and a fourth. See how we had just a little bit left? 
And then we'll cut this off and this will be at four inches. I really like that tone on tone stamping look. Uh, bubble bath ink on bubble bath cardstock. A basic white thick card base. And we'll take some dimensionals. I have a little dimensional bowl that helps me somewhat tame the, <laughs> the dimensional backings. Okay, let's put this right here. See how it just fits perfectly. And then we'll get a couple more dimensionals and we're gonna put this in the middle. Now I didn't add any embellishments on here because I really felt like with all the little things that we stamped, that you really don't need the embellishments. All right, there you go. Now, hey, Mother's Day is coming up, so maybe change the sentiment to Happy Mother's Day. All right, you guys, make sure you click the link here on YouTube to hop back to my blog. Check out the other So Refreshing projects I have. There's a free PDF. Grab that and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.